I'm not happy about Brexit because uh, losing uh, Great Britain uh, is definitely not helpful. Uh, they have been good allies, they have been transatlantic, they have been economically liberal, uh, they have been always friends of particular Central Eastern Europe. But uh, anyway, uh, they will leave one day and uh, my group has to live without them and I think that our analysis show that uh, we can fulfill this whole, this loss of 18 British MEPs very easily from our own resources because each and every of our parties is doing better than in 2014 so we can get more MEPs from our current member parties. And what sort of coalitions are you prepared to do after the elections in order to get a majority of coalition here at the parliament? We are, of course, ready to negotiate with centre-right political parties. I think the time is up to break down this grand coalition between European People's Party and European Socialists that led the European Union to a deadlock uh, and stagnation and to build some uh, business-friendly, market-friendly, trade-friendly coalition that will once again start European prosperity and growth. Would you be open to then form a coalition with Matteo Salvini? Uh, it's a big question mark. I think that Mr. Salvini has chosen a different way. He somehow uh, is trying to make alliance with Madame Le Pen and Madame Le Pen definitely is hardly acceptable as a partner for us. Why is that? Sorry. Because she is pro-Russian, because she's anti-American and first of all because she's economically protectionist. And we are pro-trade, we are pro-market, we want to open markets throughout the world for European goods and this is exactly contrary to what uh, she is pursuing. You've said earlier this week that the EU should uh, sideline itself, should be uh, joining forces with Trump when it comes to Iran. What other policies should the EU join forces with the United States? Well, I think that the EU should start once again uh, negotiations with US about some form of trade agreement. Uh, those talks have been frozen a few years ago. Now there's a new mandate from the European Council to the European Commission to restart those talks. And I think that we should try to do that. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.